Hi, my name is Soumya Pillai and I'm here with another episode of Pure Science where I explain the biggest science story of the week. Today's story is about NASA's Perseverance rover having found the strongest evidence yet that Mars once hosted life. The discovery comes from a rock collection in the planet's Jezero crater. This location was chosen for the exploration because billions of years ago, it was home to a vast lake and river delta. The rock named Chayava Falls revealed strange dark markings inside it, patterns that scientists described as leopard spots. According to scientists, these aren't just smudges. They are highly organized textures that resemble structures left behind by microbial activity on Earth. That's why this discovery is sparking so much excitement. It could mean microbes once lived on Mars, shaping rocks more than 3 billion years ago. NASA's Perseverance rover, which touched down on the Martian surface in 2021, was sent to search for science of biology. It has spent the last four years exploring the Jezero crater, which, like I told you at the beginning of the video, was once an ancient lake with a river flowing into it. The rover found the leopard print rock last year at the bottom of a canyon carved out of the river in an area called the Bright Angel Formation. They are about 3.5 billion years old and are a type of rock called mudstone which is a fine-grained rock formed from clay. What makes this discovery even more exciting is that one of the authors of this study, which has been published in the journal Nature, is an Indian-origin planetary scientist from the Imperial College of London, Sanjeev Gupta. Now, the biggest questions you all might have is why is this such a big deal? Haven't we already heard similar claims in the past? And the honest answer to that would be yes. In fact, organics, which are carbon-based molecules, have been detected on Mars before. But organics can form in non-biological ways too, through chemical reactions in rocks and atmosphere. What's different here is that we are not just talking about molecules. We are looking at actual patterns locked inside stone. Patterns with structure, complexity and organization basically things that on Earth, biology is very good at producing. On our planet, when microbes grow in watery environments, they often form colonies. Over time, minerals like carbonate or silica can deposit around them, preserving their shapes in the rock. The fossil record is full of these signatures. They're called microbialites or stromatolites. These are among the oldest evidence of life on Earth, stretching back more than 3.5 billion years. The leopard spot in the Martian rock look a lot like this kind of biosignature. If that parallel holds true, it would mean Mars also hosted microbial life around the same period that life was taking hold on Earth. Of course, this is still a hypothesis, Perseverance, as advanced as it is, can only run certain tests with its onboard instruments. It can tell us about mineral composition, it can scan textures and it can detect some organics, but it can't do the kind of ultra-precise chemical and isotopic analysis that scientists rely on to confirm life's fingerprint. For instance, one classic test involves looking at the ratio of carbon isotopes in organic material. On Earth, life consistently prefers lighter isotopes and this bias shows up clearly in fossils. That kind of test is only possible back on Earth. That's why this discovery connects directly to one of NASA's most ambitious upcoming projects, the Mars Sample Return Mission. Perseverance is currently caching these precious samples, sealing them in containers that a future spacecraft will collect and bring home. If everything goes as per plan, these Martian rocks could be in our labs by 2030. Only then can we finally confirm whether the leopard spots are truly signs of ancient Martian microbes 
or the products of some unusual but purely chemical process. Why does this matter so much? Because the more concrete proof we gather of possible life outside Earth, the better we would be placed to confirm that the ingredients of life plus the right conditions would be enough for biology to emerge almost anywhere. For now, leopard spots of Jezero remain a tantalizing hint, not definitive proof, but they represent the clearest clue yet that Mars may once have been alive. That was all from me. I am Soumya Pillai and this was Your Time.